Welcome to SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo. We have a special guest with us. Uh, McKenna Dahl is um, the 2016 bronze at the uh, Paralympics in Rio, it was. Let's just start with what's it like to be in the Olympics? Really being in the, you know, the Paralympics or Paralympics, it's one of the most amazing feelings in the world because you know that you earn the spot to represent your country on the world stage. How many people go in your, in your category? Um, in my classification, there were about 50 to 60 people that I was competing against. So, and your classification is, you shoot what? I shoot 10 meter air rifle, and then on the Paralympic slot, uh, side of the sport, um, they base your classification off of your disability. Um, so, because I have more of an upper body disability, they allow me to shoot off of a spring stand to uh, bring all of us to the same you know, playing field, if you will. Now, the thing you told me before we started this, which astounds me, is <laughs> tell them what the, the size of the target is. So our entire aiming circle target, if you will, is about the size of a silver dollar. But that's not where all we're trying to hit. Uh, our bullseye is about the size of a period in a newsprint. It's a half millimeter dot that you can't even see from 10 meters away. And they divide it. Yes, they, you know, there's a half millimeter, millimeter dot, but just, you know, barely grazing it isn't enough. They divide that dot into tenths, and they uh, give you decimal scoring. So a 10-0 isn't good enough anymore. You want to get deeper tens, you know, 10-5, 10-6, and 7, in order to be really competitive in the event that I'm in. You've been doing this how long? I would say about eight, eight years. I tried it for the first time when I was 12, and I just, I fell in love with the sport. I got to shoot a 22 on an outdoor range with some friends of mine, and I was hooked. How much, how much do you have to practice to reach this level? A lot. I, uh, <laughs> I, live, at the, well, I live at the Olympic Training Center, uh, downtown Colorado Springs, and I put in you know, three to four hours on the line, every, you know, five, five to six days a week. And then on top of that, I do sports psychology classes, um, mindfulness sessions, nutrition, uh, strength and conditioning. Uh, it's really like a full-time job. Because basically, it's a mind game. I mean, once you, once you have the skill to hit it, the question becomes, how do you react under pressure? It really is. Um, a lot of what I'm working towards for this next quad to go to Tokyo in 2020 is learning how to control my reactions to events that I can't control. When something goes wrong, it does play, it, it, it messes with your mind. It really does. And then things go south fast. And so that's, I would assume that's something you spend a lot of time working on, just ignoring when it goes wrong and just keep on moving forward. It's not even necessarily ignoring it. It's, you know, okay, if this happened, how can I, you know, fix it? And if I can't fix it, how can I move past it? That's tough. It is. That's a tough game to play. So I'm sure that there are people right now who are thinking, boy, I wish I could do that. What is it, what would your advice be to a young person who wants to get into this? Be willing to try, you know, most anything that your coach puts in front of you. You know, a lot of the coaches that are out there know what they're talking about and they really, they want to see you succeed. Um, if it doesn't work, talk to them about why it doesn't work and, you know, try something else. Um, don't be afraid to take the risks and uh, most of them have pretty good outcomes. And the next one is gonna be where? Uh, Tokyo. Tokyo in? 2020. In 2020. McKenna Dahl, good luck in Tokyo in 2020. Thank you, I appreciate it.